All right, guys, so Isotopes RX-8 is probably one of the most underrated plugins in the world. And, you know, first of all, it's like 10 different plugins in one, but you can use it so, for so many different things. You know, the music rebalance feature is really big, um, but what I like to use it mostly on is vocals. I get a lot of vocals that were recorded in not the best places in the world, and it's great for taking, you know, plosives out or clicks in the mouth, background noise, too much reverb from the room. There's countless things you can do with the RX-8 suite, and I'm gonna show you how to use them in a vocal today. So let's get started. Before we do, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's go. All right, guys, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a really bad recording, but um, I got this, this cam record I got, and it does have some of the problems that I come across and I'm gonna show you how to fix these ones. And then I'll show you some of the others I use, even though we won't be able to really do it in a use case here, but at least I can show you how to do it if you're having that issue at home. So this is this cam song. I'm gonna play this little part for you and then let you know some of the things I could fix just with the RX. But I've been picking up the pieces going through in my mind. Okay, so just that little bit part, there's some pieces, plosives, and then there's also some a little bit of mouth click going on. It's slight on this case, but um, there's definitely a little bit there. Now, this could be really extreme and this will plug in will work 10 times better, but let me just play it one more time for you and then I will will do the mouth de-click and, and I'll show you my settings. But I've been picking up the pieces going through in my mind. Okay, so now I'm gonna render it. I'm gonna render it really quick. I'm gonna play it, render it so you guys can really pick out the little bit of the mouth de-clicking that it did but I've been picking up the pieces going through in my mind, but I've been picking up the pieces going, but I've been picking up the pieces going through in my mind. So that's with the mouthy click, but I've been picking up the pieces going through, but I've been picking up the pieces going through in my mind. See, hear how cleaner it sounds, the picking up the pieces, it gets a little like, poppy there and this will take it out. So what I do is I'll just go through a song and as, I, as I'm mixing, I hear it there. I'll click it there. If it's really bad throughout the vocal, I'll render the whole thing because I don't get many artifacts from using just that plugin. Now, the other one that's really useful, and this I'm a little more picky from, is Deplosive. And this is my settings here. Mouthy click, I rarely change. I might widen it a bit, but that's about it. Uh, with the Deplosive, <clears throat> I always turn the frequency down to about 127, sometimes lower if it's a really bassy voice. But you'll notice that, that uh, Plosive in this verse, when I render it, we're not going to hear it anymore. So let me play it just so you can hear it again and then we'll render it. But I've been picking up the pieces going. But I've been picking up the pieces going through in my mind. Hear how pieces is a lot cleaner now. So those are just two really quick examples of what you can do. And I do this all with audio suite. So you, you wouldn't actually put, it's not good to put these right on as an insert because what they end up doing, these take a lot of energy. So it's going to bog your CPU down and there's a ton of latency. So you're probably definitely gonna run into latency issues. So always do an audio suite, or if you're in um, Studio One, use it as, a RX, uh, as the, uh, the effect tool thing in the bottom left, um, and that will make it so you don't have to uh, keep these in your session the whole time, which will just bog the whole thing down. Now, a few others I tend to use on vocals and somewhat music is the RX. So I'll use RX click, which is D click right here which is a variation of the vocal one, but this is more for music. And all my settings are kind of set already, but I always switch it to multiband periodic clicks. I found that seems to work the best. And you can skew it depending on where the click is. Usually in the middle is pretty good, but what this is really good for is if you have like a two track beat, like for instance, we do here, and you know the producer cut the bass out, basses are always really well known for clicking and um, that will take that click out, those kind of clicks out in the music. So this is great. The D click is great for music stuff. And lastly um, is RX8 and it is D verb. Now this is a little trickier to use and it works sometimes well, sometimes not so well. You gotta play with it a bit. But what you'll do is if say this vocal was recorded in, in one of those like settings where the room was not very well treated, there's a lot of hard services, so you're getting the reverb of the room. There's nothing worse than that, is getting the reverb of the room and then having to try to mix it because if you compress it, the room comes up with it. So what you would do is hope that the client sent you a little bit of reverb of the room here or, or sometimes even better after it, a line like here, okay? So you select that and then hit process, right? 
So just gonna kind of loop in that. But before you do, hit learn. So learn. Now it's learn the, the it's learn the signal of the room, and then now you could play it back. You know, select this part and play it back and, and see what it does. Now you're gonna have to switch with, moose around with the reduction, sometimes mess around with the different bands, but you usually can get a little bit better of a signal with that. I'll use this one a lot in conjunction with um, my favorite is the old school SPL D-verb by Plugin Alliance. And this one, I usually just bring it up to eight and that will kind of cut down some of the room reverb. And then maybe I'll throw this on after or vice versa, depending on you know how bad it is and which one's working better. But these are both great tools for getting rid of room reverb. So those are the plugins I use, the RX-8 plugins I use when I need to like clean up a vocal. I use this on just about every mix. There's always some sort of issue, whether it's a click or mouth noise or you know too many plosives and stuff. There always seem to be some sort of issue that needs to be fixed, and these come up all the time. Um, another thing that I use this with is Soundflow, if you guys want to check that out, because you can just, I have it all programmed, so I can select it, select it, hit a button, it comes up, processes it, and closes it, which is even quicker than, you know, having to search for it like we did today. I did it like this today, so you guys know where everything's at. But Soundflow is another great tool for helping you even speed up this kind of processing even more. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What are you using to, you know, clean up your vocals before you really start mixing? If you got your song, if you need a song mix and master, hit me up at mixandmastermysong.com. You can also find my courses and presets there too. See you soon.